Hello and welcome in the 14th part of my tutorial and this part is about Walls AI and now first I will show you how it works so the speed is also slow but it works fine and it works on the system of checkpoint so it's a very basic AI that runs on the command regenbody.addforce and I will explain you that later and about this, now about the setup so I have made a ball and created an empty game object in the center of this ball or spare and then name it a direction and then add a box collider to it and make its trigger and then a script ball AI and then a light that's for just some effects and then a simple path with a few turns and checkpoints that are just empty game object with box collider that is is triggered and every game of and every checkpoint means this empty game object is triggered and due to which it works so I these checkpoints are on every turn of the path track and now about the script so a variable speed which is an integer equals a so that I can configure it in the unity window and ball dot rigid body this dot rigid body and then six transform variable that are checkpoint one two three four five and these all six and what I'm actually doing is every time the ball moves through a triggered checkpoint that is this it uh, look uh, the empty game object that I have added to the ball this one direction will face the next checkpoint and add and the force would be added in the forward direction of the of the direction empty game object and I will show you it and see direction and this little bit tilting down but in the direction of checkpoint one and now it is facing checkpoint 2 so that's the way it works and now I'll explain you how I make how you can also make this so variable touch that's just a uh, empty I don't know what they call it but class D you can name both of them anything and but put this name over here without these brackets and then created six static variable you can also if you don't want to add the class you can just type private variable this for this but I made it just for test text not test so then call a function fixed update uh, if you call the function update the ball will move really fast and also in the ball movement script you have add fixed update and that's really good for adding force and now if t.cp which is this is true then transform dot look at and the empty game object will look at checkpoint one and ball dot rigid body dot add force transform dot forward that is the forward axis of the empty game object direction into speed this variable and now on trigger enter cp 
and com dot collider if cp dot game object dot name equals equals cp1 and now when the ball will collide with cp1 uh, the ball dot rigid body dot velocity equals ball dot rigid body dot velocity dot normalize that will normalize the speed of the ball and then t dot cp1 means this will get false and t dot cp dot 2 will get true means this and now this command will be followed transform dot look at cp2 means the now the empty game direction will look at the cp checkpoint 2 and then the force will be added in the transform or forward direction <coughs> of checkpoints 2 and then when it passed through the cp2 collider cp3 will get true and 2 will get false and then this will follow this will be followed and then this just goes on and that's the way that it works so this is just a basic AI so if you are able to create more advanced AI please tell me and I am also working on it but I haven't done anything well till now and the way I am working is using a overcast sphere that will check all the colliders that are in between the path of the ball and move out of the way to avoid these obstacles and thank you and please like comment share and do much more things that are good for my videos so thank you